Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video series, we're recording our first MIDI song in Reaper. And this is part eight of the series. Okay, so now we're ready to mix down this song, which means combine all the elements into a final mix that we can share with others. So to get our mixer easier to work with, let's go over here and pull this out like this. Let's grab this tab right here and pull it out here so it floats it. And this will make our mixer easier to work with at this stage. So from here, we can change the volume or pan on any of the tracks we've been working with. So once we're happy with this and all the levels are perfect, we could bounce down or render our mix. And to do that, we'll go to the menu, under File, right down here called Render. And this opens up this dialog. We could choose to bounce down our master mix, stems, or a combination of either. We're going to choose master mix. Then we'll go over here. We could choose the entire project or just the time selection, which is what I prefer. If we choose this, we can create a time selection by going just before right here, going to the end, hold down shift, and pull the time selection just long enough to grab the whole song. I'll go a little further so I don't lose any reverb or delay. Then we'll go back to that menu and make sure we choose time selection. Then we'll give it a name. I'm gonna call it new song, mix number one and we can browse where we want to save it. I'm going to save it to that folder, another folder called Rendered Mixes, right here. And that path shows up right here. Then we can choose the sample rate, which I'm going to keep at 44.1. Channels will be stereo. Then we can choose how we want to bounce it down. Online render, which will allow us to hear it as it's bouncing down, or I'm gonna choose full speed offline. So this will go much faster, but we're not gonna actually hear it as it bounces. Then we can go down here and choose the format of the final file. I'll choose WAV, but we could choose an AF file, an MP3, or anything else you want. I'll stick with WAV. We could choose the bit depth. We're using 24 now, but for bouncing down for CD quality, we could use 16-bit. And that's pretty much it. Then we can go over here and just render that file. And because it's offline, we're not going to hear it, but we are going to see the level right here. Notice it's not going into the red. If it is clipping, just bring your faders down. But this looks pretty good. Then we can find that file by going over here, and it shows up in my directory. Here's that final file. So that's pretty much it. We now created our first MIDI song in Reaper. So I'm going to play this down for reference, but I want to thank you for your time and watching this. I hope you learned something. I hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.